Hello. Yes, I'm late again, and I'm not going to apologize for a few reasons. One, things have been things have been challenging, and I'm doing the best I can. Two, I'm not really all that sure anyone's missing my videos enough to even make it something I have to apologize for. And three, it's boring. Apologizing, apologizing is boring. Maximalist mini bars with Mary and Captain. The last video I did was a bus tour, Cat's Bus in particular, so that one was for you guys who like the tours. The one before that was about money, what I spent on my cross-country trip, so if you came to learn from my mistakes, that's why I make them, hopefully you picked something up from that one. This one is for the people who want an update, so if that's not something you're into, bye-bye. Maybe give me a thumbs up on the way out, I'm not going to apologize, but when you come back next time. Who knows what it will be? I left off on the last update in Escondido, California. I was there to pick up Captain, but I ended up leaving him there to go back to Arizona. I rented the crappiest car I think I've ever seen offered up for rent, a 2007 Chevy Impala with one headlight and a really strong cigarette smell. And I drove that up to Cat's camp in Munns Park. I had to rent the car. I couldn't pick up the bus because it wasn't ready. It was still in the shop. And since I don't have credit cards, I only have debit cards. I had to rent it from a company that this company should be called basically rent a rec I think it's called Phoenix car rental or something. Anyway, it was the only one that would let me rent with a debit card. So that's what I got. Kat and I drove in that wonderful wagon down to Phoenix and stayed in the Motel 6 in preparation for her biopsy surgery. If you want to know exactly what's going on with Kat's cancer, you can check out a video I shot for her and posted on her channel that explains all of that. Uh, I'll put it up here somewhere. While I was in Arizona, my brother Sean drove from Los Angeles down to pick up Captain from Christine because Christine had to leave town and Captain had to go find someplace else to stay. And then when the bus was finally done, I drove to LA to get Captain. Sean walked him up the street and Captain smelled the bus and we had a little reunion right there on the streets of Silver Lake. We hung out there for a little bit. I sold at the Torrance Street Fair for old time's sake. I used to have a store in Torrance, in case you didn't know that. But then I had to drop Captain back off at Christine's because he can't go to Flagstaff, which is where I was meeting Pam and Kat. It's 7,000 foot elevation in Flagstaff. And, you know, like I said in the last update, Captain's heart can't take that. It was really hard to say goodbye to him again, but, you know, Kat needed me and off I went. Kat and Pam had moved closer to Flagstaff, so I drove the bus up there. I took Kat to her first week of chemo and radiation, and I had my birthday party around the campfire there. I'm 62 now, woo, senior citizen, finally. Then I left for California to get Captain again. Kat's sister was on her way from Washington at that point to take over the driving duties for Kat, and she's there now. I stopped in Ehrenberg overnight, and I visited our old camp spot from last winter, just, you know, just for fun. And then I took the long, winding, really hilly way to Escondido because I knew that once I had Captain, I wasn't going to be able to do that again because he should stay below 2,000 feet. That route goes through all kinds of neat stuff, like the Imperial Sand Dunes. I never saw anything like that before. Very cool. When I showed up to get Captain, he was at first super confused. I think he thought I wasn't coming back. He kept looking from me to Christine and, you know, it was like he was saying, I thought she was the new mama because we were apart for two weeks and that has literally never happened before. We've never been apart for that long. But then he starts kissing my face and he wouldn't let me out of his sight in case I got the idea that, that I was going to leave without him, which of course... I didn't leave without him. I was so excited to have him back. So we drove back up to the LA area and now we're back here in Torrance. I sold jewelry at the Halloween event. It's called the Scare Down in downtown, in downtown Torrance. And I'm gonna stick around until next Sunday cause I need to earn some more money. And there's another street fair coming up that I can sell at. We've also been going to the beach a little. It's been fun. But then we're gonna go back to Arizona. It's cooler there now. And Kat is finishing her treatment in Phoenix. Flagstaff is pretty cold now. So Captain and I are gonna be scouting things out in Phoenix to figure out where we're all gonna stay when Kat and Pam come down from Flagstaff. Ultimately, the goal is for Kat to be able to stay in her bus and camp 
while she's having this last bit of her radiation because you know that's her home you know it's where she's most comfortable plus it's easier for RJ there because he is a very big dog to be crammed into a motel room there is a possibility that that's what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to be in a motel but we won't know that until she meets with the new radiation doctor but at any rate I'm gonna be there a week and a half early to scout things out with my the help of my friend Brad who lives there and now you're all caught up I'm not gonna promise another video anytime super soon I am gonna try I just I try I really do but I don't know, sometimes it just doesn't happen. Life gets in the way, but I have a lot of old videos you could watch if you're really missing me, like this one. We'll see you next time. Get off the bus.